<laughs> I was like, yeah, this is working out well. I'm, I drank a, a beer and I'm doing fine. Then it accidentally stopped my recording mid sentence. I was like, maybe it's not going well. Maybe it's not. Oh, wow, that, that floor showed up. Basically the same. Oh, fuck me, I guess. Oh, oh, Blobbo is back. Bye bye, Blobbo. Try and mess with you with these. One of them's a thing. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things is not quite the same. A lift. Uh, I remember picking. Okay, it's fine. Ish fine. I can derve. Oh. Oh. Why? I don't understand. Oh, who cares? Oh, fine. <laughs> Apparently not fine. every box about dying. Just really need the wampa fruits. Ah. Well, never mind. Bye bye. Cortex is being a bit creepier in the HD remix with his lab assistants kind of ganging up on Torna and like, they never really had that. Oh, yeah, like he hugs you. He was just electrified before. He didn't have electric gloves. He just was all, would randomly... <laughs> he just randomly electrocute you because he was just some another poor, tortured lab assistant. say it's gotten darker and it's gotten lighter in some places, but like, to be honest, oh, they jumped further than I remember. It's still pretty dark. And it was always a bit weird. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah, fine. Goodbye. <laughs> oh! Ow! Okay, that was just. For some reason, I thought there was floor there. Dead. Like, I can't just respawn and there's no consequence whatsoever. Ha 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 jokes on you. Oh, I'm right at the beginning, that's that's <laughs> took me a while. Yeah, I'm at the beginning again. Jump way too early there. Oh fuck off YouTube. <laughs> Why did they give them a face? It seems like such a random detail to add. We're gonna remix the entire Crash game, HD up it. But you know what we're gonna change? The goo has to have a face. It's weird that it doesn't have a face. Really just one one for three boxes is not even worth. So early with the bonus round, man.
。ああ。See those two up there that I miss. Yeah, before Torna didn't even get anything. A lot of the game was like, why am I even oh, I'm saving Torna. Okay. Oh. And just a general feeling of like who is this character and why do they exist? Because they really weren't introduced very well on the first game. I'm surprised there isn't a secondary lab level. Oh. You can tell the game's starting to feel sorry for me, because it's just like, yeah, it's a mask. Why did I why did I stop? There we go. Oh, you little bastard. They're just dicks. Um. Oh. Hello. They make a return. Makes more sense that you're in a lab. Just see the bullshit up ahead. You're just like, oh no. If you walk too far back, the door closes on you, killing you. Now what? Look at this shit. <laughs> Oh, I touched the electrode. No need to rush through the door. Let it close. Let it reopen. Ah! Timing going on here all at once. It's important that our floor can randomly open and close with no preemptive warning. Workplace hazards at this place. <clears throat> myself at the last minute. I say last minute like I know. <laughs> Don't stand too close to the door. How are you supposed to know unless you're the, literally acutely hearing? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I was like, couldn't even see the TNTs. I was like, there's a hole. Good news, everyone. I fucked up at the last minute. We were so close, but then I remembered to be a dumbass. Pretty sure I hit a checkpoint before now, but whatever. Didn't even have to wait for this if you don't want to. It's talking about interesting shortcuts that may just be unique to me and my English classes lately. And one of them is Gunu and Wanu, because there's going to gu Gunna and then Wanna, and I say Gunu, Wanu. Anyway. Eventually it desyncs itself, so you can just. 
I don't, I think he had loads of space there. I don't know about you. Oh. Gunner, Gunner, and Wanu. Remember that one. Yeah. I, I don't need to wait for this door. <laughs> I was just like really nervous to me. Yeah, it's just not deal with rebound. And here's my spike pillar room. Oh great. Well I died a hundred times, not like it could have counted. That took ten minutes. <laughs> The Great Hall is a nothing level, don't worry about it. The Great Hall is, hey, did you get all of the gems? Then you don't have to do the Cortex boss fight and you can just uh, run off with Torna on the back of a bird. Spoilers! Let's come back here when you have every gem because Loki has to work. Oh, okay. well, you could just go, yeah, bye. Why did he feel. Oh, I must have. I'll never understand that. Hey guys, it's the final. It's the final countdown. Somehow his castle came on fire just from me being there. Oh, fuck me, I guess. Darn you. He used to say curse you. You can spin the green ones. This gets really hard, if you can imagine. Because <laughs> he starts doing this shit. Oh. Yeah, it gets harder. What's really nice to know is um, the guy who played uh, oh, the guy who played Doctor Neo Cortex actually thinks is one of his favorite voice acting roles. Why would you make a deflective engine pulse? So why would you switch between two? Oh, yeah, I just walked into that. Being really cheap with the... Look at the texture on the blimp. That was unnecessary texture in here, look. Oh. Yeah, I'm too busy looking at the blimp. Look, look at this. It used to be a flat polygon, obviously. and in all sorts of groups. Wow. Oh! For some reason I thought that was green. Ooh! It's just a lot of shit on the screen. Oh, I spawned back in for some reason. Did everyone else see the error where I died and then spawned back in? How me walking through his lab, which was clearly a hell for us, caused his whole tower to be on fire. Oh, good. I 
it gets really hard after this one. Oh, maybe not this one. Oh, great, I missed it. It's really hard for some reason. We haven't really seen much of Cortex D right until until right at the end in this game. He just literally he doesn't show up at any point mid game to taunt you, and then in the later games he really does that a lot to just remind you who the fuck he is. Because always at the end of the game, you're just like, what? Well, why do I care who this person is? Slash, who the fuck is this? If you forgot, because it's a long enough game that if you don't see him halfway through the game, you're just a bit like, sorry, who is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you see him at the beginning, and that's it. And then you're just seeing his cronies, and they don't say, oh yeah, Cortex is gonna get you, or anything to you. They just go, oh. They used to, like, Pinstripe used to say, oh, you think you've got, like, a bad time now. Wait until you get into, like, dealing with the other guys. They're the real hard guys. But otherwise, they just don't say shit to you. So you never get the impression that he's that important until the fact, and you're like, oh, who's this bullshit guy who's really hard to beat? Also, up until now, you don't really know Crash's name, except that it's on the box. <laughs> like, I mean... And then, you know, in 2 and 3, they really make a point of saying, is Cortex, Cortex will exposit what's going on for you, and the reason why it's happening. He will also, like, talk to you regularly and taunt you so that you feel like, oh, you can't trust him, and he's a dick and stuff, and, like, in 3, as we saw through my LP, he does a lot of shit where he's like, give me the crystals, Crash, dick, give them to me, and gets his cronies to do that too. Ow! We're just gonna keep playing this <laughs> until I win it. It's a nice, like, it's a nice scene. Very nice a HD remix scene there with the burning castle and everything. It's just... The whole rotating image is just pretty good. Wow. Oh, okay. Can't. Can't spin jump them. <sighs> Hadn't even gotten down to last hit yet once. Oh. Oh, I thought they'd be going up and down. He goes through two different cycles. Oh, game over yourself. Who are you, my mom? You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm starting to think that too, mate. <laughs> Attention, and I'm too busy talking about talking. Is 
zigzags always get me. Oh, at least we got through this. Now let's see what fresh hell is next. Oh, just a lot. Just a lot. Let's try to have a ray gun. Oh, okay. Fuck me, I guess. need more than two because I'm bad. <clears throat> Why do you suddenly need to build up more after an arbitrary amount of time as well? It's just like, nah, fuck you, now you need two, now you need three, and it's like, well, I hit him first time, fine, and it did enough damage. First two is fine. We're getting the first two okay. I kind of get what it wants from me for the third one, but I've only really hit the fourth one a few times. Oh, great. Yeah, let's just keep following the fucking death sphere. God damn it. I gotta go through all the slow shit again, and it will give me one hit. One green. So I keep forgetting when he shoots the greens. Ah, oh, yeah, Death Sphere doesn't. stays out long enough to hit me again. for that last one, I guess. Please just let me live. Why can't they all be like that? Well, yeah, yeah, I just walked into that because, yeah, I reckon I do just have hits to waste. Yep, yeah, just keep wasting hits. Yep, yeah, let's just keep wasting hits. Fucking bullshit. Game. 
This is going to be very painful for everyone to watch. But I'm kind of getting it at the moment. It's been a while and it's always been quite hard. So there's a very little space you're working within and a lot of like this shit. Where it's just like, why would you even invent a ray gun like this? This make why? Just to be a dick? It feels like just to be a dick to a platforming game. Like in the real world you wouldn't make this because this is stupid. First time this time. Now this one just seems like pew 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 pew. pew. Get out of the way. Hit this one. Miss. Pew 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 pew. Get out of the way. Hit. There we go. Pew 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 pew. pew. Hit. Oh, it's just two. Okay. So what's the last one? This is gonna be hell. On what the fuck? The last one was the easiest one. I guess it's the anticipation that kills you on the last one where you're like, what what am I gonna do? I forgot that she hugs him at the blimp. I remember as a kid going, who the fuck is that? And then they're going, yeah, it's Crash's girlfriend. It's in the, it's in the manual. It's in the manual. You remember when you just read the manual? Because you had nothing better to do. And your parents said, you can't play the game all the time. So you're like, fine, I'll read the fucking manual. That was the time. And then PS2 uh, started to get rid of that. Remember when the manuals were also like fucking thick as shit, like they were like a 40 page document that was telling you everything in the game. Like the crash ones were literally like, this is a life token, this box means this, and we'll go through every item, pick up, box, everything in the game, characters. <laughs> I learned how to play this on a glockenspiel and then everyone wondered what the fuck was wrong with me. I was working at a kindergarten. I was like... And everyone was just like, what are you doing? And I was like real jamming out to it. And I, I think they all just thought I was a fucking weirdo. And I was like, oh yeah, you guys in Hong Kong didn't have a childhood, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you know... Ding, 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 Give me a music room, I'm gonna learn, like, literally, I learned on the piano, Jury's theme, Cammy's theme, Guile's theme, Nash's theme, uh, Ryu and Ken's theme, because I was really bored on my lunch break, so they used to give me two hours for lunch at that place, which nowadays is seen as a blessing, but I was so bored. They wouldn't let me leave the school, so I had nothing better to do. Had all my lessons planned, so I'd just sit there and glockenspiel up like that, and then just learn it. This is the song I'm on about. That used to be, that's Crash 2.
I was going to start Crash 2, but it's half 11, nearly midnight, 20 to midnight. And I can, I'm watching the preview, and it's like juddering, and the screen is tearing on OBS, so I'm kind of like, I can always do it tomorrow. I kind of want to do it now, but at the same time, I can always do it tomorrow. Yeah, so I have a lot of uh, lot of nostalgia for this game, Spyro, the first game, and Spyro Two. It go like Crash One, Spyro One, Spyro Two, Crash Three are like the big part of my original game. That and like Croc. That's about it. Crash Team Racing. They were the big ones for me. I... Why? Why would you beep like this? Fine. Uh, yeah, I really mean to turn off my air filters when I'm um, playing so that it's not so noisy and I always forget. Yeah, those were the big games for me um, when I was younger. Then uh, when I got my PlayStations, one of my friends bought, one of my older friends bought me um, Turok Evolution. And I was like, because they were like, you like dinosaurs, right? Here's a highly violent game for a 10-year-old to be playing. And I was just like, okay, I'll play this game. And I was just like, I don't really get it. And then I played the multiplayer a bunch of it. And I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. But the, the game's busted. The game's busted where you could literally have a certain gun on bloodbath mode on Turok. And it will just always win. And you have to then tell everyone that you're not using that gun. And everyone uses that gun anyway, and it's just got homing bullets that just insta kill you, and uh, you can't run away from because they're too good. Uh, what else did I have? I had Wipeout Fusion was my first Wipeout game, and I was like, "This shit is sick! Look at all these weapons!" Because it was very weapons focused, and you could modify everything. There was an A driver, a B driver for each team, and you could modify the. Uh, the uh, stats of those guys. Each team had a super weapon. I was like, Wipeout's cool, man. Then it turns out Wipeout Fusion's the only Wipeout like that. That's very weapons and customization focused and like team management and super weapons focused. And then all the others are more about the racing. I still have Wipeout Omega Collection on my PlayStation 4. Chinese version or Cantonese version, I don't know. It's fine. I enjoy it, but it's just not the same. That shit was real gritty, and I really liked it, but, like, there's just not enough of those kind of style spaceship racing games that you can have a spaceship racing game that's, like, about that. You know, just heavy weapons. For some reason, it's just like there's such a like lack of that genre that you can't have one that's like F Zero, that's all about speed, 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 and then one that's like Wipeout Fusion, which is all like character customization, like credits, and like trying to make your characters stronger, and like all the teams getting upgraded and shit, and then have another one. That's more like what Wipeout say. Like I didn't really. Like, I played Wipeout Pure on my PSP, and I played that, and I was always like, "This just you can't kill anyone in Wipeout Pure. You can't make them blow up. You just don't do enough damage." And there's like about five fucking weapons in the whole game, and like only several of them do damage, and they don't really do enough. Just like, so I didn't really enjoy it the same. But um, I want to say, what were the wipeouts like? Twenty forty eight is fucking hard. Like it's like really hard, you, and it's all about speed and racing. So that's pretty interesting uh, in that sense. And the other two bundled with that game are pretty good fun. Uh, what other PS two games did I have? I had God of War two. I never played God of War one. 
I played God of War 2 because everyone said it was a uh, video game of the year, so I was like, okay. Never got around to playing Shadow of the Colossus. Play Need for Speed Underground 2, and then played Underground 1 a bit, but really liked Most Wanted, and really, really liked Carbon as well. Those two were really big for me. Um, Burnout, Revenge, Criterion's Black, uh, they were all pretty good. Um, what was the other one that I really, 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 really liked? I played a lot of weird stuff on my PlayStation 2. I played a lot of random stuff, and I played it to the ridiculous extreme sometimes. No bandicoots were harmed. You should go look up what a real life bandicoot looks like. They are very strange looking creatures. There's actually real life bandicoot enemies in Crash Bandicoot 2. Like, they're more realistic looking. Well, I was going to say Stormy Ascent if we went quickly, but like. It's 37 minutes, so... Yeah, I see myself from this bullshit for now. We'll come back to that, and we'll come back to Future Tense on Crash 3 at some point. Some point. When I'm dead. Anyway, that's the end of Crash 1. For now. Don't expect a 100% run. Don't expect time trials. Maybe Stormy Ascent content and a secret level later. Um, let's not let this run much longer. What fighting games do people want to see? I'm thinking of buying maybe Guilty Gear again, uh, getting some more Tekken 7 in, maybe buying Street Fighter 5 because I saw the new releases and I was like, you know what, I never got around to playing Sagat or Kage, and I wanted to get some more Akuma... SF5 Akuma looks pretty good fun, and I only picked him up and played him for about five minutes. And I'm always bitching about five, and it's because I played up to about season two and then quit. So, yeah, maybe that. Um, Want to check out Samurai Showdown, some KOF. Been a while since I played KOF. Uh, maybe get into Skullgirls. I've bought Skullgirls three times. Uh, they also have on PS4... Marvel v Capcom Free Ultimate or Ultimate Marvel v Capcom Free. Anyway, um, I wanna I wanna buy that again. So I was never good, but like I enjoy it. So um, yeah. Got any favorites? And for some reason, watching right to the end of a Crash Bandicoot video. Comment. I did the call me thing. I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna go get like a drink of water. <laughs> bye bye.